Welcome. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Everybody's excited to have you here. It says you're excited to get going. Yeah, I'm can excited you, to be here, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about what your expectations are for Sunday Night Football, how much you expect to be in there and um, and play, how much you've been able to talk Coach Reed into letting you go? Uh, right now, I don't really have any expectations. I just uh, want to come in and do what's asked of me, you know, um, whatever plays, whatever, um, I guess, assignments I got to do. Like, I'm just going to do it at my hardest. There's a lot new going on for you right now. Do you feel like you could play at least some on Sunday night? Yeah, I'm working towards that. I'm uh, very eager to go out there and ready to uh, be the player I am. Barry, what do you know about Kansas City? Um, not only the team, but just the city before you came here. Um, I didn't really know a lot about the city, but as far as the team, like I know since way back when we've been winning. So um, I just want to come in and help uh, c continue that tradition here. Darius, you played under Mike Kafka for a little bit. Did you kind of see some similar characteristics when you look at the playbook and you feel that's going to help you going forward? Yeah, yeah, I see I see a few correlation, but it's uh, a lot of differences too. Um, I just feel like I just got to go in and attack it like I usually do. And there's the day, the day the trade went down, where were you when the, when you got news that the trade went down? What was your uh, reaction? I mean, my reaction was kind of, uh, I was kind of shocked, but I mean, I'm always, um, I guess, thankful for the opportunity. You know, like, I wasn't like, uh, I know I know the business side of it, you know, like, I wasn't like too hard on it, too, this or that, but I'm just looking forward to uh, the opportunity available here. Where were you when, when you got the news? Uh, I was about to get ahead of practice. Why do you think it didn't work out in the long run? Uh, I mean, I really don't know. I mean, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm a chief now. Patrick Mahomes mentioned that they've been interested in you potentially since the off season. Yeah. What does it mean to have a fresh start when you know you're kind of wanted by a team? Yeah, I would say yeah, it feels good to be pretty much wanted by a team, and uh, I, I think the the history would probably go back way a little further than that, like the extensive probably like since the beginning, like before I even came into the league, where they really wanted me here. But um, I feel like this is a uh, it's a great opportunity for everybody. I mean, uh, fresh start for me, um, able to step into the AFC and show what I could do over here, you know what I'm saying? How much, how, much, how much interest was there, do you feel like, from the Chiefs during the draft process? Uh, I mean, it was great amount. I mean, we talked a lot. Did you feel like you were going to get, sorry, Trent, did yeah. you feel like you were going to get drafted by the Chiefs? Uh, I really didn't know. I really didn't know. It was, uh, you know, everything all in there, you know, everything all in there when you're in the draft, but uh, I'm just glad to be here now. Why do you feel like Andy Reid and, and Mahomes can maximize what you what you bring to the table? I mean, Andy Reid, go back, he's he been a great play caller since we can all remember. And Pat Mahomes, he's a talented, been talented since he was at Texas Tech. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I, I just want to know why I fit in. You know, I just want to come in and impact as much as I can and, you know, do what I can. You like returning punts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like returning them. But, uh, like I said, whatever my role is, that's what I'm open to do. You know, I can't really say up this or that, whatever, but whatever op available. I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm going to take advantage. Andy said, you know, one of the things he was answering the question about, he said, well, I'm, in, I'm excited to get out on the field with him. He hasn't had you out on the practice yeah. yet. Just because you haven't thrown, you haven't caught with Patrick yet, right? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we had a couple walkthroughs, but we haven't had a full practice yeah, yet. Full practice. So what, what, now that you haven't, we're getting you before you've had the Patrick Mahomes experience, yeah. right? Yeah. What, what are your expectations going into it, uh, having seen him on TV and everything like that? What do you think it's going to be like? Uh, I really just, like, Seeing him from the TV, I know he command the huddle. He command his offense. So I know at the end of the day, like I just got to make sure I'm uh, disciplined enough to know where I got to be and when I got to be there, and just let him do the rest. Cause I know he talented. He can put it wherever you, you know, what I'm saying you want it. So I just got to be where I need to be. Any of the, the other receivers give you any tips? Like you know, go live, <laughs> go deep. Like, any of them <laughs> nah, 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 not really. <laughs> Darius, Last one. Darius, we hear a lot about when new guys come in, how extensive Andy Reid's playbook. How much have you been able to dive in and just how extensive is it to you? Uh, I mean, I've always kind of been a smart player, but uh, I mean, I, I feel like I'm grabbing it, uh, like I'm grasping it, like gradually. You know, I'm, um, like whatever I pick up, they give me more or whatever. So I just got to continue to do that, and my uh, my role will probably extend. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.